Uh, you know, it was good to get back out there. There was a lot of excitement, a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, thought the attention to detail was good, and uh, another good step in the preparation for the University of Georgia. How, how beneficial was the off week? I mean, what did you feel like you got done? Well, I tell you what, we used. Uh, it came at a great time, uh, you know, because we were really beat up, and the grind of this league, you know, it, it takes its toll. Um, so it was good from that standpoint. Uh, we used the first we used Monday to uh, evaluate us tendency wise, uh, go back and just sort things by formations, by calls, and different things like that to look at us to see, you know, because sometimes you get so engulfed in the game planning and the day to day, you know, the next thing that you want to make sure you go back and take a look at things to make sure that, you know, that you see what the people you're getting ready to play see. And, uh, and then from there it was, <clears throat> you know, full speed ahead on the University of Georgia, and I thought that uh, we got a good jump on that, and our players got some, some time off, and uh, I think you know the schedule was, was set up really well, because uh, they used it wisely, and I think we're going to be a fresh football team going to Athens next this Saturday. Now, what's your approach to defensive tackle right now with Gabe and Ken Carter? How's that work? Uh, just keep practicing them. Uh, they've both done some really good things. Both got a lot of room for improvement. Uh, going to continue to rep both of them and see how it shakes out. Is Gabe the incumbent at this point? Is that his job? Well, we're going to keep, keep working this week during practice and evaluate it during practice and then see how it shakes out. What's been the biggest difference for Gabe in this last month? Uh, I think the speed of the game. He's starting to catch up with the speed of the game a little bit because, you know, uh, especially for guys inside, <clears throat> there's so little reaction time. You know, when you're lining up in your safety and you're 12 yards from the line of scrimmage, there's some, there's some reaction time. Um, but when you play with your nose on football, um, there's no things happen like that, and the, the game is so much quicker. And I think he's done a good job of picking up, picking up, and catching up to the speed of the game with uh, with his eyes, and because he's he's an instinctive guy inside, just you know to playing within the framework and doing doing those things over and over and over. And uh, you know, Mike Pelton's done a great job with him. Can't talk about uh, George's offense. What, what are they doing? Well uh, they're doing everything well. Uh, they're very explosive, averaging a bunch of points and a bunch of yards a game. Uh, you know, they've got a very effective rushing attack, uh, both a perimeter run and a power run game. And uh, at the same time, you can play action to death because they've got big play people. And, uh, you know, they also spread you out and make you defend the field and things of that nature. So it's a diverse attack and uh, one that they've got, you know, an excellent, excellent athletic players. So it's, uh, it's, it's quite a challenge, but uh, one we're looking forward to. Can you kind of speak to the intensity of this game, especially you know, the obvious long, long, oldest rivalry in the South and all yeah. that? Oh, uh, well, you, you know, we've yeah. got, uh, there's so much crossover in this rivalry. Um, you know, you look back at the history of the, the coaches, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of history there, deep, deep rooted in, in, in Auburn, uh, you know, with Coach Dine and Coach Dooley. Uh, was, uh, and then at the same time, we've got so many kids from the state of Georgia uh, that played there, played against, played against their guys, and you know we recruit against them so much, and because uh, you know we go to, go to Georgia to recruit hard, and we recruit against them so much, it's a, uh, it's a rivalry that uh, there's I think there's there's respect, and at the same time, you know, it's, it's a rivalry. How much have you seen Aaron Murray improve? When this year, when it opposed to when you look at him saw him last year, I think he's gotten significantly better. Uh, you know, he's making good decisions with the football, um, and when he pulls it down, he can make he keeps drives alive with his feet. And uh, you know, it, it's you can see that they're starting to, to check more and things of that nature. And I think that as he's gained confidence and gained experience, and uh, you know, he's playing really well right now, and you can you can tell that uh, they have a lot of faith in him by what they do. Can you just kind of talk about Evan Thomason and the impact he's had on your players and just on the team itself? Um, you know, that's a that's that's quite a story, um, and I think it's been an inspiration for for all of us. Um, you know, that's that's a tough deal, and you realize sometimes you don't realize how fortunate and how blessed and how lucky you are. Uh, to have what you have and to have the opportunities to do the things that you know other people never have or other people wish they have and all the things that, that go along with it so it's just a uh, it's just really a 
uh, a reminder of, you know, to appreciate the things that we do have and to, uh, to enjoy them and not to take anything for granted, granted or the time we have for granted. And, uh, you know, it's, it's certainly, certainly hit home. I know that he did make a wish foundation and, you know, he could have chosen anything, but he decided to meet you guys and go to a game. What do you think that meant to him? be able to meet you guys? I don't know what it meant to him, but I know what it meant to us. And, uh, you know, being a father, uh, just my heart goes out to, the, to that family. Uh, but what a blessing it was for us, for him to, to come into our family and be part of our family. And, you know, it's just, like I said, it just, it's a, it's a brutal reminder of, uh, of how fortunate and how blessed and how lucky we are. And, uh, if we take anything for granted, then, then we're missing the boat.